Good day students, welcome to modgoodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to construct a tangent line to a given circle. All right, before we go ahead and get us started with the construction, let's go over the steps. The steps we're gonna go through to um, construct a tangent line to a circle um, with center O, okay? So first thing we're going to do um, is we're gonna draw the radius OR from the center of the circle and then we'll extend it out to point P, okay? You wanna um, ensure that a section RP from the end point of the radius to the point P is a little bit bigger than OR in order to make it easy to create the next um, construction. And that is in step three, which is the perpendicular bisector of a segment of segment OR, okay? So in this construction here, I just drew this little region, this section of, um, OP centered at R, and I constructed the perpendicular bisector of this segment right here. Let me highlight it for you. Of this segment right here, I constructed the perpendicular bisector through point R. Okay? Now, this line we know is tangent to the circle for the following reason. This line right here is perpendicular to the radius at its endpoint. Any line that's perpendicular to the, to the radius of a circle at its endpoint is tangent to the circle with that radius. That's a theorem that basically allows us to conclude that this line L is tangent to circle O. Okay, so those are the steps we're gonna um, follow in constructing a tangent line to a circle with a given uh, center. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be making use of my um, computer software here, uh, but the steps are easy to replicate with your typical straight edge and ruler and um, your compass, okay? All right, so let's start by drawing the radius. So this is going to be the radius right here from the center to the circle. That is going to be the radius OR, but I'm going to extend it further, a little bit out, all right? So what I've constructed is a segment um, OP that goes through the endpoint. So this is the endpoint of the radius. Let's call it R. Okay, OR is the radius of the circle since you're going from center to the end of the circle. And then let's just call this point point P. All right. Now, um, what we're going to do, let me make sure I'm following the steps here. So done. Okay, perfect. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to create a um, section of a a small segment of this segment OP, and then we're going to construct a perpendicular bisector of that segment centered at R, the point of intersection or the end point of the radius, okay? So let's go ahead and, uh, and do that. All right, so to create a perpendicular bisector, we're going to need to make use of our compass. I'm going to be using my nice little um, electronic compass here. So just determine how um, wide you want your segment to be, doesn't really matter, but the wider the more accurate your, your construction will be, okay? All right, so let's make it this wide right here. I'm gonna uh, create blue arcs to mark out my segment. So this right here is one end of the segment that will be constructed the perpendicular bisector of Notice how I kept the pointy tip of my um, compass right on that point, the end point of the radius, okay? Because we are constructing a perpendicular bisector of this new segment I just created, this portion right here. All right, now, um, let's see, let me move this out of the way. Okay. Now, we're going to create a perpendicular bisector. So in order to do that, just remember your angle bisection um, algorithms. All you do is you put the um, pointy tip of your compass on one end, and then you make an arc on the top and the bottom, and then you flip to the other side, keeping the same length, you create the same arc, okay? Let me widen this out a little bit so our you can clearly see the point of intersection. Okay, so I anticipate that a point of tangency will be somewhere here. So I'm just going to make an arc right here. And then take that to the bottom. 
Let me make another arc right here. All right, so do you know how to finish up the steps for creating a, for constructing the uh, perpendicular bisect of the segment? All you simply do is you move your, um, the pointy tip of your compass to the other end of the segment that you created. And then you, um, you mark it just as you did from the, uh, the point on the left. You mark it right here and then move it over to the other side. And then you mark it right there. So what did we just create? We have just constructed, uh, this enables us to construct the perpendicular bisector of this segment of segment OP. All right, so you just draw a line, put your straight edge um, through this point, this point, and that point right there. And the line we just constructed is basically the line that's tangent uh, to the circle. Okay, so we just extend it, and then the end point, since this is a line, there you go. Okay, so let's call this line L. All right, so what we're going to do next, we're just going to write down a short remark to clearly state why we know for a certainty that this line L is actually tangent to circle O. All right, so this is just a side comment. <laughs> it's not really necessary. If you just write out, if you have all the constructions here with the arcs, you should get full credit for the construction, but this is just an explanation as to why we know what we know, okay? So uh, what do we know since um, line L is perpendicular um, to the radius OR of circle O, by construction, okay, so by construction, we know for a certainty that this angle right here is 90 degrees. So since line L is perpendicular um, to the radius OR of the circle O, um, let me make a real quick alteration here, add it um, to circle. So circle O at its endpoint. Okay, it has to be at the endpoint of radius, okay? At its endpoint by construction. What's the conclusion? Then we can conclude that then line L is tangent to circle O at R, okay? So if you have any line that's perpendicular to radius at its endpoint, at that point where the line intersects the endpoint of the radius, then you have a point of tangency. That line will be perpendicular to the circle containing that radius at that point of intersection, also known as point of tangency, okay? So if you wanna label this point right here where everything happens, you can call that the point of tangency. That is where the line is tangent to the circle, all right? Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this um, tutorial helpful in your study of constructions of geometrical, uh, geometrical objects, to give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable and supportive to us. If you have any comments about this presentation or if you have um, or you need help on any geometry constructions, just put your request in the comment section below or ask the questions in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to respond. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool um, geometry tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on mathgutsur.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.